so the number one thing um, I think is representation. Um, representation and prioritizing good health, good health outcomes is important. In fact, there's research that shows that having a black physician actually improves the health of a community as a whole. In fact, it increases their likelihood to seek preventative care. It increases their adherence to medication and it decreases mortality in black individuals in that community. So as you can see, representation matters and having a healthcare community that looks like the community they're serving is really important. Another thing we can do, get involved in research. What we know is that the research that has been done in the past, there's been a really starkly low number of African-Americans and Hispanics in those studies. And so these results are being used for that population, but not very many of them was involved when in the initial studies. So we would like that to change. And so being involved in research, getting more minorities involved in research is another way. Another thing we can do is increase awareness and education. So is a common saying, without knowledge, the people perish. So we wanna make sure we increase awareness and education of asthma and allergic diseases and their impact, because a lot of people may not be aware of how stark these numbers are. And I think that would be really helpful to just help drive the change in the direction that we would like increasing health literacy. Um, the, there's community-based um, health programs such as the um, Trusted Messengers program from the Allergy Asthma Network, which really helps to educate communities um, about asthma, help with screenings. All those types of things really help move the needle forward to the direction we want it, which is decreasing health disparities and increasing health equity. And finally, legislation is important. So whether you're a patient, health professional, it's very important to advocate for legislative changes in federal, state, and local level because those changes and those policies will help address the health disparities and really at the systemic level and really help support the access and quality of healthcare that we want and that we wanna see for everyone.